¿Qué trans amigos? Queremos mandar un saludo para San Diego. Yo se lo quiero mandar a mi compita Alex. Y yo saludos a Eika. Queremos Alex. mandar un saludo para Alex y Erika desde Cabo San Lucas, Baja California oh. Sur. We arrived in Cabo. Nobody's waking up. Aiden wanted this chicken. I'm going to use it as a, uh, a method for waking him up. This is what happens when you ask for a uh, really annoying chicken, you know? Aiden's playing this all night, now I'm playing it all morning. So we just arrived, we're in Cabo today, the weather is perfect, super calm. Cabo, um, you always worry because it's a tendered port, which means you use the little boats to go into town. Because the big ships are usually too big to, well they are too big to, to dock. And uh, it's somewhat often that if it's too windy they'll cancel Cabo altogether like when we came to um, Cabo in 2016 on a cruise we 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 had to come a day late because because of the wind we actually ended up doing the cruise in reverse we did Cabo last Puerto Vallarta first and then uh, we skipped Mazatlan unfortunately but um so a quick little tip if you are doing a cruise that has a tendered port, meaning that you're going to have to use the small boats to get into town, and if you don't have like status to get priority tendering tickets, go find out in advance what ports those uh, will require tenders, and then ask their policy, ask the uh, guest services how quickly you can reserve tender tickets. So like I went to guest services yesterday, and uh, got our tender tickets, and I think we are uh, tender group number seven, which is pretty good. So um, we'll be able to get off the boat within like the first hour of arriving here. But if you're in like a later group, it could take you a couple hours. And so you, you always want to maximize your time. So make sure you reserve your tender tickets in advance. We just got off our water taxi tour out to the Ark and now we're at the beach here at Mango Deck. We're gonna... Uh... No, thank you. We're gonna go to the Mango Deck and then we're gonna get something to eat because we haven't had any breakfast or anything. Deck always has a lot of like fun little games and I was, I was showing you some clips from the game they do it's like a drinking game where they they drink a shot they drink a beer and then they run down the beach and then they spin on a pole like on a stick ten times and then they're all dizzy and they run 
funny is I was just looking back through the footage. I didn't even notice, but like in the first clip that I think I took, or second clip, the guy that was sitting right next to us, he leaned back to look at like the guy that was playing and he totally fell back in the chair. I don't know why, but I thought that was, uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. So we are back on the boat. Cabo is always a little interesting because in the afternoons, it always gets really windy and choppy. And as you saw, getting back on this big ship from those little boats can be a little nerve wracking. So hopefully everybody's back on board because that looks like it's the final tender boat. That, that's usually, you know, the very last tender boat has stuff with the uh, water, you know, with like where they, have the containers for fresh water and all the um, the crew that are working the pier, and you can hear some celebration going on down there. So there's probably a few people that were super late that made it back on board. So Aiden and I did a little exploring, and now we're gonna go drop them off at the show because we have uh, reservations tonight to go see Jersey Boys, which is kind of cool because. We were at the beach in Puerto Verde with all the Jersey boys. If you didn't see that video, go back a couple days and watch it. Um, so now that we know those guys, it'll be fun to see the show. We saw Jersey Boys and we really enjoyed it. It was a great show. And then we just finished dinner in the Manhattan dining room and I think the exhaustion is catching up to us. I think we're gonna go get the kids and call it a night a little earlier than normal, which it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> 